One thing I know, my girl ain't no hobbit. She might be stumpy, that don't mean she a hobbit. She ain't a hobbit cause she couldn't be. Ain't got no bagginses in her family tree. I'll stop. Sorry, that's really been like stuck in my head bad since we, uh, we saw it. We normally don't stay up that late to see the episodes come out of South Park. We were actually up that late um, on Wednesday, so we got to see the new episode, which is the season finale. That song was in it. It was a pretty good episode, and it's stuck, been stuck in my head ever since. I even posted it on my Tumblr because it's been stuck in my head. By the way, hello, everyone, and welcome to Saturday. Um, this Saturday is unique. Uh, no game night tonight. A lot of people out of town, a lot of people doing random other things. Uh, but also, we just needed to get some stuff done. Because of all of the events with the health stuff, I haven't been working a whole lot, and I need to catch up on some things. Um, in particular, today I spent um, a good bit of time editing the finale episode of The Last of Us, so that's done. Although tomorrow I'm going to record an additional episode that shows a, a few of the extras, because there's some extras. Um, there's a few things I missed in the game that I do want to show off. And then there's uh, a few cool extra things, like you can change the clothes of the characters, etc. Today... Um, you know, I, I said that we did get some work done, which was good, and uh, we're going to be skipping game night and uh, relaxing a little bit with my family. Um, we're going to go see the Hunger Games movie. We're going to go get a bite to eat and then go see Hunger Games 2 Catching Fire because we saw the first movie. My parents actually saw the first movie on Netflix some time ago. They liked it. We liked it, so we're going to go see the uh, next one. Then we'll come back. And uh, I think we're going to practice Donkey Kong Country because we need to get some of those recordings done because those are those haven't come out in like two weeks. Um, and then if we have any extra time tonight, we might play maybe a little league, maybe a game or two of league because uh, I don't know. It's it's fun and easy. And and uh, anytime we mention it, there's we have a few people in our group who are really anxious to jump on and and play it. Okay, enough talking. Let's go eat. You know, I really like IHOP's pancakes, but Cracker Barrel has really, really good pancakes. I mean, really good. Also, if you've never had the blueberry ones, those are good as well. We're going to eat as fast as we can, and then we're going to head over to the movie. It starts in like 30 minutes. We should probably hurry. Oh, it's late. Oh, you go to an 8 p.m. film, and you kind of assume that it won't, you won't be out at quarter to 11, but it's now quarter to 11. Although, there's like... There's, a zillion. There's, there's like 25 minutes yeah, of okay. previews. Yeah, that's ridiculous. It's crazy. There's like 25 full minutes of previews. Anyway. It's like for people that think they don't have TV, this might be <laughs> you know? Yeah, if you're missing your commercials at home, we got you covered at the theater. Um, anyway, uh, the film was long as it was. I, it's, I think the film was like two and a half hours long, so it was a really long film. Um, but it was good. I mean, it, it was good. It, it was, um, I don't feel like it would have been a very good standalone film. Like, I, I think you, like, if you haven't seen the first film, I wouldn't really advise you to go see the second film because it's such a, like, a direct sequel. It doesn't, it's not that it doesn't make sense on its own, but I don't think, like, it made a whole lot of sense on its own. I think you would have had to see the first film. But it was good. Um, I didn't read the book. But Mao's read the book, and she said that it followed the book really closely. The ending was a little different, but it's been two years, two and a half years since I read the book. Okay. But oh, it was, it was good. I liked it. Um, the only thing that bothered me, and I knew it was going to bother me, it, like the, the minute it, it clicked in my head, in, in some movies, there will be a character that has a gun, and they'll be firing off rounds. And you never really think about the fact that, you know, at some point he's got to reload, or at some point, you know, how many bullets does he have in his chamber. And the reason is because it's a gun. You don't see inside the chamber, or it's in his pocket, or whatever. But in this movie, the protagonist uses a bow. And the problem I ended up having was there was one scene in the film where the protagonist uses up like 15 arrows or whatever and as soon as she it, while the scene's going on I'm thinking crap I'm just gonna be staring at the quiver I'm gonna be staring at the quiver for the rest of the film darn it darn it and I'm like trying to get my mind off of it and you know sure enough as the film progresses like she's magically you know ha has arrows back and I'm like oh no don't do this because I, I kept thinking please go back and get the get the arrows and she didn't 
she just magically had more arrows. That was the only thing that really bothered me. Not really a huge deal. It's just, it's a lot easier to shake with a gun because you don't see the chamber, but you see the quiver all the time and you see the little tops of the arrows sticking out. So I'm always like, oh man, there's arrows. Maybe I'm just ridiculous. Anyway, um, all in all, good film. Everyone enjoyed it. And um, now we're gonna go back to the house and relax for the rest of the night. Anyway, that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. If you've seen uh, Hunger Games 2 Catching Fire, you can talk about your uh, thoughts below. Um, you can talk about spoilers from the film, but if, if you do, please mark them as spoilers. Some people don't realize that. And if you haven't seen it, maybe don't read comments. Yeah, yeah, or just, I don't know. If people were conscientious, it wouldn't be a problem. But there's people on the internet that don't understand that not everyone has played the games you've played or seen the movies you've seen. And they just, you know, they just go into the comments. Actually, there was a recent, there was a recent one. Oh, well, it might have been when we saw Gravity, I don't know. There was a recent vlog where someone wrote the spoiler and then after that put spoilers by the way and I'm like that's not how this works you put you put the spoiler warning at the top so when someone's scrolling through and they haven't seen the film then they see that and they're like oh this post will contain a spoiler I will not read it that's how it works anyway thank you so much for watching as always let's be back tomorrow shall we let's click print and go and it should now be sending it over to the other room so we'll actually get a chance to find out how long it takes to print. Really good news from, from that lab, I say. Oh, Mr. Aladdin, sir, what will your pleasure be? So oh, whatever you think, you ought to jot it down. You ain't never had a friend like me. Life is a restaurant in an amenity. So it's for what it is you want. You ain't never had a friend like me.